Well, hello again, friends, and welcome back to The Exorcist Legion VR on Oculus Rift by way of Steam VR. So, it all comes down to this. We have painstakingly made our way through the story through chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, and that leaves us with chapter 5, the tomb, the finale. Uh, which if the trend continues should be uh, terrifying because through every chapter it has built the level of tension and general overall level of evil has grown and grown and grown and chapter four it was pretty bad man it was terrifying and uh, I may not yell like some other people and carry on but uh, when you hear me stop running my mouth that's because the game is affecting me so when I get quiet pay attention because that means that the shit is going down all right so I'm going to assume that I can go through chapter 5 without um, completing the artifacts from the other chapters because I think the only ones that I actually did it in were chapter two and chapter three. Uh, chapter one was the statue thing that we didn't figure out. And chapter four, I think, may have something to do with these chicken feet because I got clues on that and never actually, you know, went back and tried to harvest uh, the feet from those chickens that were hanging. But I'm going to come back at a later time and, and quick tie up these loose ends and, and try to get 100% on all this stuff. But right now, my focus is getting through the story. Uh, when I do revisit this game, I'll, I'll be sure to record it for those who are interested. And I'll put out a video or two on uh, tying up the loose ends here. But right now, we have the big badass king of all demons to slay and uh, this just can't wait so when we came out of chapter 4 as has always been the case when we come out of one of these things we have a nice little package on our desk and uh, it's normally some kind of a prelude to the chapter I'm getting ready to enter so let's see what we've got here there's a videotape and a letter let's read the letter it says, Detective, one of our inmates, attacked and almost killed a police officer. Detective Jameson of Pittsgate Police Department is now in a critical condition with severe lacerations to the throat and neck. The inmate, known widely as the Gemini copycat killer, took his own life three days after the attack on Detective Jameson. So the Gemini killer... Um, this is not a new uh, concept or a new character. This is straight out of The Exorcist 3. Like I had mentioned earlier in the uh, video for chapter one, this game is based in the, uh, in the universe of Exorcist 3. So uh, it's loosely based on the events that took place in that movie. It's a very good movie. And if you like horror films, uh, I do recommend it. Now it isn't, like I said before, it isn't a, uh, a standard horror film. It is kind of a police drama with some supernatural horror elements added into it. But it's a very good movie. George C. Scott's the lead actor in it. He's a very good actor. And the, uh, the scene in the cell with the priest in the padded room it's worth watching the movie just to check out that scene alone because that is a very moving performance. Anyway, back to the letter. Just before the attack, Detective Jameson was carrying out an interview in which the inmate specifically requested to speak to you. We hope that you can shed light on these events. Department of Investigations, New Hampshire Correctional Authority. Okay, and then we have this tape here which is labeled New Hampshire CF. And for you youngsters among us, but before there were 
Blu-rays or DVDs or digital downloads. This is how we watched our movies, was on one of these things. This is called a video cassette. We'll look it up. Ask Alexis, she'll tell you all about the video cassette. And this is what TVs used to look like, by the way. Way back when, when Mario was on top of the world. Detective Jameson, prisoner interview at New Hampshire CF. Where's the detective? I want Boston PD. You're in New Hampshire, pal. We ain't going on a field trip. I'm all you got. So you can tell me what you need. You're wasting time. I can feel Pazuzu clouding my mind. Pazuzu? Screw this. Guard! No, no, wait, wait. I'll talk, okay? But you'll have to promise you'll get this to Boston PD. Just get on with it, pal. Detective, I hope you're listening because he is listening. He hears everything and has silenced all that oppose him. I know that he wants me next. But be warned, detective. I'm not his prize. You are. <sighs> this is going nowhere. You must go to his tomb. It's the only way. It sits sealed off below the border of Iraq and Jordan. Someone must have disturbed the excavation site. Please, That's detective. enough. We're through here. I've got real work to do, you whack job. Okay, so Detective Jameson, prisoner interview at New Hampshire CF. Look, pal, you're gonna confess today, or is this another waste of time? Confession? Yes, I do have a confession to make. I torture men for our own gain. I take their eyes to see. I take their tongue to speak. And I take their souls to feed. Okay, so who have you tortured? Give me a list. Oh, many, many. Too many to count. You think me a copycat. You think me obsessed with the Gemini killer. You call me a copycat killer, but I am not. I am the original. I am the madness in the caves of Decapolis. I am wild dogs loose on the girl in Morocco. I am the claw in that priest's throat. I am the noose upon this man's neck. I am the voice in your head. I am the voice in your head. <laughs> well done. So if you didn't catch that, I've got a, uh, a voice that just whispered in my left ear. It said, I am the voice in your head. Awesome. All right, so apparently, and that's again very similar to The Exorcist Three. Um, apparently, this inmate, the Gemini copycat killer, um, realizes that he's being possessed by Zuzu, and uh, not only that, has intricate details into the location of. Uh, Pazuzu's tomb in between the border of Jordan and Iraq tells me exactly where I need to go and exactly what I need to do I don't know what this guy's background is but apparently he knows what he's talking about so let's go huh field trip Jordan slash Iraq here we come chapter 5 the tomb Cut off its head and the body will follow. At least that's what they say. I have traveled too far on this path to turn back. At least that's what I told myself. The Iraq-Syria border, Upper Mesopotamia. Chapter 5, The Tomb. It all comes down to this. 
Now, visually impressive right off the bat, as usual. Ominous, indeed. I hope the Boston PD is paying this guy good because I don't know. It seems like he's out of his jurisdiction here. A nice looking torch. This is the beauty of VR, people. I can grab the torch with my hand and enter the cave. Looks like we have come to a dead end or a ledge. Very nice. Very, uh, a lot of depth here. A real sense of presence in this cave. Rocks and sticks laying on the ground that you can pick up and toss. Don't hear the bottom. Just a minimal crack in the uh, in the ceiling here, letting in some daylight, rays of sunshine into this place. Ray tracing people, it just works. Apparently the bats didn't like me throwing that stone, they're gonna run into the daylight. This is like the Bat Cave in the uh, the Batman game. Same sense of uh, scale. Yeah, I think I'd be rethinking my. Uh, my life decisions at this point if I were this detective. I would go get a job at Kinko's or something, man. Alright, so we have some kind of a device here, some kind of a pulley system. It looks like there have definitely been some uh, anthropologists here. Whether they be professionals or amateurs, I cannot say. Cool. We got a pickaxe. It's like real life Minecraft. I cannot disturb it. What about this lantern? Can I light it? Can I blow it up? I guess not. Can I make the fire bigger? Okay, so far nothing out of the ordinary, just evidence of uh, people being down here, which is what the uh, prisoner, the inmate said, is that someone probably has disturbed this tomb. Defense, no entree, danger do not enter. Danger Will Robinson. All right, let's see if we can open this thing. Indeed. Not sure it's the best idea, but here goes nothing. I mean, there could be bears in here. You know, I've never played Dread Halls before, but going down this narrow corridor here, I can start to feel how it may scare someone. I never saw it through looking at the uh, still flat images, but in VR, going down these little narrow pathways and halls, I can definitely see where it might uh, Bring on a sense of uneasiness. 
got some candles here. Can I light them? I can. Some of them anyway. definitely tombs what is this reminding me of this reminds me of the catacombs in the gallery part two the heart of the ember stone you go underneath the uh, I don't know a cathedral or something I forget what the name of the place was but there are royal tombs that look very similar to this Blessed Mother, I assume. Okay, so this is, uh, this looks like the uh, underneath of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. There are documentaries on this location, um, notably one done by the uh, National Geographic was it or maybe even the History Channel recently the documentary on the uh, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and they were renovating this area but I don't remember anything about this part over here where we're going Trying to get him reach in there and see if we can grab one of these bones, but oh. got some dried blood on there. It's like a uh, femur, perhaps. Looks like there's a rib back there. Let's journey deeper. It says and there are evil sounding whispers resounding with the wind all right folks which way do we go left or right generally these games these evil games Always take the left hand path because that's the evil way to go. So let's do it. Here we are again, faced with a similar decision. So, does this just connect with where we just came from? That's what it looks like, but you can never tell with these games. Yeah, so that just circles around. The left-hand path was the only choice. Left and left again. More whispering there, but I couldn't make out what it said. It said something in my ear. But I, it was quick, and I really couldn't make out what it said. Again, we're going left. What do we have here? This looks like, um, I'm going to assume that this is Pazuzu. It looks like some kind of um, deity of Indian origin. face also resembles Ozzy's chest tattoo. <laughs> that demon he's got on his 
left pick. Yeah, so we're going to assume that that is Pazuzu. coming to something here. The way is becoming narrow. I don't know what's up with these bars I keep finding. Well, I heard the bottom this time. At least that happened. So I have to cross the rope bridge here. Hopefully it'll let me keep my... Nope. What to do then? Now I have confusion. I lost the rope. Tempted just to throw my torch down, but what good will that do? Let's backtrack a little and see if something happens. trays here. No idea what those are for. Hmm. Strange. Just as before, that just circles back around. So what am I missing here, people? some items here see what we can come up with yes I'm going to use the diesel oil lamp oh look there's a bridge have to have faith people where there's a will there is a way and I'd like to point out that my torch just disappeared well, let's hope not right, so this light does not work as well as the torch this is a thick darkness. Tough to navigate when this thing keeps burning out in three seconds or less. Can't even hardly 
see. Trying to find my way through these catacombs. Voice in my head. Where are you going? Oh, look. It's the all seeing eye. We must be getting close. <laughs> that made me jump a little bit. A little too on the edge here. two ways this way looks a bit more we're at the dead end oh we have found our way back to the beginning how did that happen only no this is not the beginning this is different similar but different. Can I take the torch this time? I can. Glad to have that torch back, man. That was a little too dark. You can bet your ass I'm gonna think twice before I let go of this torch again. statue from the church in chapter one. That statue looks a little more ragged now, torn up than it was the first time. Not that it was in good shape in the first place. Not mine. Maybe yours. Something was sacrificed here. More beautiful artwork. when I lit the candles. Creepy. source here from somewhere.
Looks like she have herself a bunk mate. Looks like they've been having a good time. Where'd the door go? <laughs> Do you like chasing? Oh my goodness. That was crazy. This time for crazy stuff is the best in VR. When rooms change around you, and you turn your back on something, and then when you turn back around, it's gone. It's the best. Very reminiscent of uh, the ending of the Batman game. If you haven't tried the Batman VR game, you should check it out. It's worth it just for the end. The end is so cool. Alright, well, let's proceed. again and things have changed again and we have a door on this side now okay I wonder what this one has in store for us on the wind they do not sound inviting at all very reminiscent of the movie um, as above so below they need to make a VR game out of that movie that would be sick
thought she was moving. I think it just told me to repent. It's breathing. Shadows ahead. Check that out. Ghost Rider. <laughs> Ghost Rider we are people. You saw it here first. somewhere else this time. No way out, it says. Well, I'm just dicked if there's no way out. I bet Control-Alt-Delete would get me out. circles. I am. Let's get back over here to the no way out. Well, we've got a new spot here. More beautiful artwork. Father Bell's 
place here. From chapter one. There's his tape recorder and his grandfather clock. Always with the grandfather clock, huh? Can't turn this one. What's my thing going on? Salt spray. Yeah, okay. Thanks for the hint that I didn't ask for. I'm examining. It doesn't mean that I'm lost. means that I'm enjoying the scene before I move on. Here's where we got the holy water from. Here's the father's um, psychology books. Because this guy gets it, it all works together, both sides. Well, he got it, I guess. He got it before he got it. Oh, there's some death's head moss here too on his face. Looks like I cannot interact with his tape recorder. Cannot open the door. So, no other recourse but to break out the old salt spray since the thing told me to. Unsolicited help. When you're in something like this, just the atmosphere alone is enough to scare the life out of you. Way into the wall. Self analysis. Look, you try to grab it, it moves. Huh. That's crazy. I wonder if that's a glitch or. You never can tell with these types of games. What the? Heck? Again? Furniture is attacking me now.
<laughs> Crap. That's too much. Well, at least I got the door open. Not that I'm super excited about going ahead with this thing after that. Okay, well, at least we got our torch back. I can do what the F I want. Zuzu. I don't give an F. I'll do what the F I want. All right. Uh. Something looks like maybe some cattle that's been sacrificed here. Or maybe a goat. Or maybe somebody just got hungry, I don't know. change too if you haven't noticed it's got this slight rhythm to it now that I guess is trying to invoke uh, a feeling of nervousness in me in the beginning. More beautiful artwork, by the way. I do enjoy it, so. All right, looks like the only way to go is down. Down, ooh, down. The only direction the flow is down. Water. Water and fire, friends. But I can't swim. Zuzu has already stayed in my mind. Do not let him do the same to you. You must finish my work. However lucid his savage visions, however piercing his violent threats, he must be stopped. His flame must be extinguished and his presence expelled from the tomb. It is the only way. It is the only way. No, my way. Just a 
your leg tight. Tell this is going to be impressive already. Oh, my goodness! I have got a bad feeling about this. I think we are about to reach the end of the line, folks. Literally. Must extinguish his flame and expel him from the tomb. That's what Father said. Check this out. Chicken arise. Arise, chicken. Like Billy Witchdoctor. Chicken arise. Arise, chicken. All right, so I guess the first thing we have to do is put this out. I got just the thing. Imprisoning me. What do you believe, Detective? After all the pain you have seen, all the cases that keep you up at night. Do you believe in the bloated torso dredged from the canal? Do you believe in the cigarette burnt limbs of a child in a shallow grave? Do you believe in the puddle of human slime that seeped through the floorboards? You think humanity deserves to thrive in its own rotting decay? That I should not indulge in humanity's madness? Yeah, that's what I believe. You nailed it, buddy, on the first try. Why would a god let you, such an holy slime, carry out a god's work?
I'm missing here, people.
flash of brilliant light it was over everything that had led me here crumbled to dust around me I still couldn't say it was an intervention or a coincidence but the midday sun illuminated Pazuzu's tomb leaving him nowhere to hide Lady, if you tell me I have a package, we're gonna fight.
Beautiful, beautiful empty desk. That was nuts, right? Oh my goodness. And the frustration too, I thought that it that the game had glitched out for a moment that I was just stuck. But eventually that dirty bastard showed his face and we handled our business. So yeah, that was crazy, huh? I thought at the end there that it wasn't gonna be a happy ending that the the thing was going to possess me, and it was going to reveal that the, the police chief or the police detective was now going to be this evil, murderous person that was possessed with the uh, Pazuzu's Legion. But we heard the voice of the father in the end and uh, vanquished our foe. But did we miss anything in that? No hints. I didn't ask for any freaking hints, man. You gave me one without asking. No dead ends. Come on, man. I'm not supposed to explore. I'll take uh, I'll take the blame for the no dead ends, but the no hints. I didn't ask for a hint. It gave me a hint because I took too long, which was like what 30 seconds, a minute, without trying to uh, go on. So basically, the game penalizes me for being uh, thorough. All right, anyway, what did you think? I thought it was pretty epic myself. I enjoyed it. You know, I watched reviews of this game when it first came out. Uh, I didn't watch, you know, any gameplay footage, but I did uh, I did watch a couple of reviews out to see what people thought about it, and the reviews were mixed. And um, upon playing it, I, I don't know why. I think it's great. Uh, maybe they've patched it. I do remember there were some complaints about the movement um, But no issues here. My only complaint about the movement would be that the um, Smooth turning speed isn't fast enough, so I have to use quick turns, but you know That's a very minor complaint Overall everything looks good graphically. It moved well uh, and outside of that little uh, moment there at the end where I thought the game was locked up i mean everything has run well and uh it built the story built from chapter one to chapter five it had an epic conclusion and uh very good very good game so what did you think let me know down in the comments below and if you like what you see here you know what to do click those three buttons like subscribe and the bell what do you want me to play next huh we got this one down and I will like I said before I will come back into this thing just for my own personal peace of mind I'm gonna come in and check all these boxes off at some future date uh, tie up loose ends and I probably will release a video of it uh, I'll probably title it you know the exorcist legion loose ends and uh, come back and check off the rest of these boxes but uh, if you've made it this far, as usual, I want to thank you. I do appreciate it. And uh, we will see you tomorrow with a new gameplay from a new game. See you later. Thanks again.